Oh, uh, it's gamer, gamer, for streamer, she's a professional, uh, professional cosplayer. cosplayer. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's known for having, she, she does a lot of those, like, lingerie-style costumes. Where it's basically like, oh, I'm Pikachu, but, but really I'm just a yellow bikini with, with ears. Pikachu with tits. Pikachu, yeah. Yeah. Pikachu tits. Pikachu tits. Like, the one that made her really famous was Rio. Yeah, yeah. That's the only way that's going to impress me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you could impress me and just, you know, put, like, a Tesla coil between your nipples. Then then I'm all for it, because then well, there's, like, a perfect... that's one of her dumb ones. Like, the thing is with Jessica Neer, you were just saying. Hey, man, if you put a Tesla coil between your nipples, I wouldn't call it a dumb. That'd be, like, that'd be some shit. Well, yeah. if you floated, I, I can understand. Right? Is, 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 is with this particular person. Like, that's female rape as far as I'm concerned. That's Mortal Kombat nice. like woman. Yeah. Did you give me that lucky white girl and you're like, yeah, alright. As James sexy. May would say, maybe we should get off of this show. Um, Never speak of that Mortal Kombat ever again. That movie's so much fun. Hey, this Never is not Annihilation. Never again. So within the uh, God of Thunder is an American Highlander. Yeah. It's a shame. I don't know where the fuck it is. He's not American, he's Belgian. Yeah. Look, Kurt, it's that's Belgian. just what you perceive. That's why his voice sounds so funny. <laughs> and... No, not me. Jessica Negri, not Jessica Jeffrey. There we are. That's funny. So, within... <laughs> within the, uh... Within the strange, clear crystal box up ahead, the cell, the casing, if you will, you see a formulation of a dull ear light, if you will, a, um, a, a rabbit, what the hell would you call this? Uh, what would you describe that? Eraser? Eraser. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, um, it's like a, uh, like a, a large stone cocoon yeah. made out of ear light wrapping around a body as it sits there. Kind of, you can it's see like that it's breathing. Demon wrapped around That's a sarcophagus. Well, you tell me. If it's wrapped around him, it would be like a. Yes. It's one way of putting it. Yep. It might not have a so, lid on it, but yes. It's a growth of stone around the body, holding it. You're not sure to what end. But it sits in a form of torpor within that crystal case as you stare ahead. And the form behind you seems to ride against the window glass, the crystal that... Uh, it's like that thick bathroom crystal, like that, so you can't quite see what's behind it. And as it moves back and forth, it's very smooth and somewhat wispy. Oh, it looks like there's a ghost or something in there. I want nothing to do with this. This whole place is creeping me out. What's the light? What's the light that I see right there? Uh, that light has cables coming off it and going into the cage as well as the casing. And you can see that the cable continues on under the rubble. Check it out. Checking it out. You close in on the green light. It becomes brighter and brighter still. And as she does so, what do you guys all think? I got like slits for eyes now. What did I find from the books and shelves and stuff? Uh, no, through investigation. Okay. No, you're six. I'm going to imagine you're just banish. Sorry, um, Arcana or what? Sorry, Investigation. I don't have that, but okay. Yeah. Actually, sorry, this is over here. Aye, aye, aye. Can you change the light like that? <laughs> it's like this well, kind of shorted out and... Mm-hmm. Small it's definitely fun uh, okay. with gigantic <laughs> six-inch blades when that happens. You... <laughs> like, slice, slice. Ah! Found a uh, a small captain's log, and uh, and for the last little while, and then, what did you roll those? So starting on it. Starting twenty five. I've been reading. Uh, yeah. Start. Starting. Snow date. Uh, so. Are there any star maps in the uh, what I found? Sorry. Getting ahead of myself. Right, because like the whole point is that the original settlers of the Cloudspires like crashed there, so. You're reading off a page. Uh, watch change at gates. Head priest says my brand of devotion borders on evil. Nice compliment. I believe it's heresy, but yes. Drain spillage again today. Those living on lower levels suffered soak or some drowning. Mining production. Six tons raw. Drainage clogged. Sent fappens to clean the pipe. Snakes got him. 
Is that Gurgen? Thanks, God, and two. Bones stuck, cleared. And then it goes on, kind of like that. It's just drudgery. You're just looking it over. Interesting. Um, I bring the Catholic like Lord to. The I've, yeah, I work. <laughs> I casually stroll down the stairs and walk over to Ivor with the captain's log. Alright, and with that, uh, there's a little bit of like light Benny, slow Benny Hill. Mm. Just to be few. That'd, that'd be actually really good if you take Benny Hill and just slow it down. <laughs> then you make your way out through here and arrive in behind Ivor. Actually, it's totally uh, a, an ambient thing where they'll take like oh, like, yeah. Disney songs and like slow them down to like a hundred times. Oh, not what I thought you were going to say, but. Um, well, I, one of the ones that Inception I had. Inception was good with this. Mm-hmm. Sorry, yeah. is that. Oh, well, that was so clever. Of, oh my god. Every piece of the background music. Yeah. Or I should say the good majority of the background music was that main theme song of theirs repeated in different pitches. So it slowed right down, and et cetera, et cetera. So There's basically, at every level you went down in the dream, the music the song got slower and it yeah, identified how fast the time actually was going inside the dream. That movie's so fucking clever. Yeah, it doesn't want to meet uh, for it. Neat ideas. It doesn't want neat ideas. Yeah. So, that's that. Sorry. Uh, a little bit of a tangent, but point being, as you come into the chamber, uh, ahead of you is Green and Darkness. Nice. <laughs> that's all about I'm going to turn you off. Uh, you Bane. probably should. Uh, sorry, Bane. Uh, Thoracic, anything specific that you'd like to do while you were there? You watch as Thunder makes her way over towards the left. I'm doing it that weather. I follow them up. too. <clears throat> I'm right I'm up there with her. Oh, oh, you've already moved yourself. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm going do you to. want to go that far? you want to go the distance? All right. Uh, so you make your way past Vane up towards them, like so. Are you comfortable with that position? Not in front. You're not in front. Then I'm fine. Do you want to review the positioning here so you're not protesting later? <laughs> Get up! Just as long as you don't make me lose an arm again. Don't I gave you one. the arm back. We have a goal goal. I know, I'm still going to shit about it. What are you doing? I'm investigating. <laughs> okay, so do you want to investigate one of the cages? Is this guy alive or is it a statue? Moving around, around, very much alive. Can I talk to him? You can try. That means. Uh, I say hi in every language I know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Which is a lot. As you approach the cage, <laughs> it stops moving. Do you approach the cage or do you just holler at it? I approach it, but I'm still far enough away that, that club. You put yourself where you want to be. Just just like, he doesn't. He doesn't have the club. Okay, so I'm I'm close enough that I can talk to him, but not close enough that he can grab me. Okay. Uh, okay. So these are the languages I speak: common, draconic, dwarvish, elvish, giant, primordial, and sylvan. So I start saying hello. My Who's name is. I, okay, I start with hello. My name is Alonwi in common, then. Dwarvish, then Elvish, then Giant, and see which one he responds to. Okay. So you're like, hello, my name is, hello, my name is, hello, my name is. Actually, no, 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 that doesn't make sense. It'd be like, hello, my name is Alami in common, and then I just say, do you speak the languages in, in or and just basically I go through all seven. Uh, okay. As you begin to talk to the, uh, the humanoid figure, where the eyes are, oh. begin, <laughs> I got cold. where the eyes are, begin to glow green, and the head turns to face towards you. It gets down on its uh, haunches and attempts to reach through the cage, kind of seeing if it can reach you. Well, I kind of reach, uh, like. Ouch. I kind of put my hand out, kind of like as a handshake. But I don't like grab it, I just kind of like touch don't his finger. Do <clears throat> Guys, look back and say, Don't no, do that. No, I'm stupid. I'm like, Don't do that. He could grab you. Yeah, that's true. We don't know. Does he say anything? No, he just kind of reaches out towards you. Placid face, green glowing eyes. K 
cables dangling from his cranium. Another zombie. Um, do you understand me? Ask him a question. Gives a light growl. Yawning its mouth open. And reaching out. What does that look like? Slowly. Is it like made of stone? No, it's just, it is, it is very much a uh, giant as you encounter up top. It's a giant, it's a like fire a nice little giant. Ah, uh, this is a nice giant. So I speak, I speak to him in giant. Um, how did you get here? It just tries to grab you again. The eyes throb harder. The green glowing engine next to it continues to throb. The light shining brighter and dimmer. Is it attached to the engine? Yes, there are cables you can see going from the engine to the cage. I sever the cables. Okay. Uh, throw me an attack roll. What are you hitting it with? My spear. Which is okay. a plus. Plus uh, one spear inside. The cables that you see are... You're going to be... How many are there? Make sure. D6 says four. Uh, there's going to be two small ones, one large one, and a medium size. Let's start with the small one to see if it's something I can actually cut. Okay. Uh, Twelve plus one, so... Oh, no, attack bonus is plus six, so... Okay, easily manages to shatter one of them. Uh, you slash through it. Uh, however much damage, it shatters. It's a uh, thin, brittle... And it doing shatters, it doesn't yeah. sever? Sorry, Thunder, you're right next to it, by the way. Yeah. No, I mean, like, like okay, I'm just trying to understand this. So, if it shatters, then it's not metal. Okay. No. Shit. Uh, as it were, though. It's like glass or something. You're observing upon the engine there, the green glowing thing. And as it throbs brighter and dimmer... Uh, you can see the cables coming off of it towards the cage, as well as the, the acrylic casing next to it. Did I cut the cables? Uh, you may. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna throw something that. Flower right here. I guess here's my dagger. It's probably dagger. Oh, what the fuck? All my good rolls are at the beginning. Now they all suck. What would I use? What's your magic? Yeah, the, the, the double crit 20 is just sucked at all that. What do I have to roll for this? It's just. It's an attack roll. Well, I mean, what's the threshold? And what would I. Oh, roll? oh, sorry. This is a uh, 13 or better. So, uh, your dex is uh, so uh, yeah, That's probably the same as my regular. Let's see. So, 4 plus 9, 13. Okay, and we'll just say that you're targeting one of the smaller cables with your dagger, because it's a dagger. Uh, you manage to easily oh, sever it, shattering it. It falls away. In both cases, you guys kind of do it simultaneously. You're targeting the ones for the crystal casing on the one side. You're targeting the ones on the cage. You successfully attack. Now, as you go in to sever the cables on the uh, on the cage, you are getting close enough to the cage, you realize, to be grabbed. In fact, you both are. Yeah, no, I didn't really say which cables I was cutting, so I guess. That's why I was just really that you're doing the ones on the other yeah. side. Although you can both be doing the same ones. I don't really care. I would be, I guess I would be doing the ones on the other side. I mean, this is a nine foot spear. <laughs> I could, like, you know, do a. You have a five foot reach as a result, yeah. Yeah. So, could I get one without coming too close to the cage? No, because I'm going to rule that the cables are coming out of the silver part here. Because I'm a dick. Can I shoot one with a crossbow bolt? Mm, now that I'm going to do it at a disadvantage because I'm a dick. I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, do it. Do it! Go ahead! Bam! 14. Uh, sorry, uh... We're not costume playing! We are costume businessing. <laughs> Seventeen and a uh, thirteen. Uh, I'm sorry, a what and a thirteen? Seventeen. A seventeen and a thirteen. Um, uh, is that somebody rigging? 